Welcome to the Living Artist Podcast. I'm your host, Preston M. Smith. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Living Artist Podcast. I'm Preston M. Smith at PMS Artwork Everywhere on Internet Land and Socials. I want to thank you for landing on this podcast. Whether you're a professional artist, just getting started in the art world, a collector of art, or just consider yourself a creative person, this podcast has something for you. I like to think of it as a fun way to rant and talk to other creative people about living the life of an artist, surviving and getting ahead in the art world, and enjoying your life. But most importantly, not waiting until you're dead to make it happen. All right, let's get started. Hey everybody, just relaxing here on the beach. Oh, hey, here comes the Mango Man. Hey, Mango Man. Yeah, I just wanted to do this one from the beach because, you know what? I've been feeling a little stressed, been feeling a little out of balance, and what can restore that, like, going to the beach, man? Hey, man. Let's go to the beach, brother. And you know what? It's summertime. Summer, summer, summertime. Summertime. So let's get out there and live that California lifestyle. So, uh, oh, wait. Oh, now I'm on a ship. And now I'm on a helicopter? Okay. Well, all right, let's get, let's get out of this. This fun with sound effects has been brought to you by PMS Artwork. Enjoy your sound effects today. Okay, well, we got that out of our system. (laughs) Yeah, it makes sense. It really makes sense in some warped way in my brain, some corner of my brain. I've been feeling a little out of balance recently. And, uh, oh, Jesus. The uh, ship sound just came back on really intensely. Hang on a second. Okay, that's more like it. Back to the studio. Back to the lab again. Well, there goes gravity. Okay, I just mixed two of those. Anyway, I wanted to kind of live out my fantasy at the beach right here and now because it's hot up here in the valley. It's like 93 degrees and I am sweating it up and it would be fun to be at the beach right now recording this, although I probably wouldn't be getting very good sound quality. Anyway, oh, and the... (laughs) The Mango Man is a true story. If you've ever been to the Santa Monica Pier, the beach by the Santa Monica Pier, then you know what I'm talking about. There's this guy who just goes by and selling mangoes, and his only sales pitch, and it's an effective one, is mango, 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 mango. Hey, at least you know what it is. It's a mango. You want a mango? Get a fucking mango. So anyway, uh, here we are in episode 76. I have just come off of two really big interviews with two really well-established, awesome artists with Man One and Tim Tatter. Tim Tatter, like Bill Brasky. They were great to interview and really fun to talk to. Had a lot of experience, a wealth of knowledge, and they were really great interviews. Um, I spent a lot of time researching those, and they both were very long, and the editing process took a long time. So I kind of felt like I got a little out of balance with myself, with my studio, because, hey... I am kind of a one-man show, not really completely, but 95%, 96% one-man show. I kind of put all this stuff together myself, and I do have uh, some help from my wife on some things. Shout out to the wife. Shout out. Ah, carrying it over. For those of you who didn't listen, now you got to go back and listen and find it. But anyway... I loved interviewing these people, and I've got some other big interviews coming up as well, which I'm very happy about and grateful for. But it's funny how easily we as artists can get out of balance. If you're a working artist and you haven't, you don't have the time to create, it just kind of knocks you off balance, off kilter. And I feel like that's what happened with me a little bit, uh, not just with these interviews, but just recently in general with The Move and with some other stuff, uh, family stuff that my wife and I are dealing with. But I started to feel a little down in the dumps and like, oh, what am I doing? And 
I started to feel a little bit of old jealousy creep back up from like watching other artists doing things on social media and beyond. And I was like, oh, hang on a second. I know this feeling. When that stuff starts to happen, I know that I am out of balance. So I took a little time this week and (laughs) I want to say I took some time and went to the beach. (laughs) No, I didn't go to the beach. Uh, Only in my mind, only in my mind. But I took some time this week to create some art. I painted seven paintings this week. I took some time to get back on track with some of the stuff I've been putting off online, marketing my stuff. I kind of hit Instagram with full force. If any of you follow my Instagram, I kind of, you know, put some effort back into doing that whole thing and just getting that out there just to kind of restore some of the balance uh, to my life and to my art practice. And it felt really good. I had some moments where I was like, ah, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling better. I even kind of felt a little better physically just doing some of these things, even with the heat. So this is a good lesson for us, I think. And I wanted to talk about it just a little bit, just sharing my personal story. But um, I think everybody can relate to this. Everybody gets out of balance. I think balance is so important in life, in every aspect of life, really, whether that's your diet, your overall health, your sleep, your uh, social engagements, your art creation, your social media time, your TV time. We could go on and on. And we're not going to. But these things really are important to keep in balance. Everything is important to keep in balance. And I think there are these telltale signs of when you get out of balance. And do you have any of those? I'm just wondering. Because I know when I start to get a little cranky, or I start to feel a little depression, or I start to feel like I'm questioning my worth or something a little bit as an artist, or a big one for me is the one I said about jealousy of other artists, When I start to feel that way, which I hate that feeling because it reminds me of how I used to be and the stagnancy in my career when I felt that way. And it was kind of a wake up call for me to be like, oh, 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 hello, hello, you're getting out of balance here. So I took some time. I did some meditation that which I hadn't had time to do in a while because I used to do that as a daily practice. And I kind of got back into that. I did some breathing exercises to center myself. I actually took a couple breaks and got out in the sun a bit. I like I said, painted seven paintings and I could just kind of feel that old skin kind of being shed off again and getting back on track. So that was a very good reminder to me because I think it's really easy to just kind of fall into a pattern and be like, oh, I'm good. I'm good now. And it's just so easy to fall back into those negative bad patterns. And I'm kind of thankful for these wake up calls from time to time because it reminds me of what I need to be doing, and it refocuses me. So it helps me to stay focused, and it helps me to, you know, start creating art again and getting back on track with my relationships at home, uh, with friends, and my art relationships, as well as my art practice. It helps me get back into that creative mindset, and I feel like it opens the floodgates, and some of my best work comes out of that. So I was just wanting to talk about that a little bit and share with everybody and hope that this is something that maybe resonates with you or rings true with you in your own life, in your own career, and in your own art practice. Are you getting any of those old signs, those old kind of like red flags that are flying up or bells that are going off that are saying, hey, hey, hang on a second here. What's going on? Let's get back on track. And what are those for you? I'd be interested to hear. Uh, Hit me up on social media with some of those answers. Yeah, maybe I could do a little spin off with this if I get some interesting things from you, you all out there. And yeah, it's just important to talk about because I think it's so easy nowadays to be struck by FOMO or everything that's going on online and things you're seeing with other people and now coming out of the pandemic a bit and seeing that things are opening up and oh my God, now I got to get back into this. I got to get back into this and now I got to go, you know, get more shows and I got to show up at more things and support other people and, you know, up my game on social media and blah, 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 blah. And it's easy to fall out of balance when you're doing that. It's easy to fall out of balance when you have that mindset or when you're kind of hit by these external forces, these stimuli, if you will. When you're hit by that, it's really easy to get out of whack, especially right now when people are still... It's funny, I've had some experiences with friends and beyond where I think we're just not there yet socially. I think we just haven't really figured out how to get back into a normal 
normal social behavior and normal ways of interaction. I've been lucky enough to be talking to people on the podcast, so it's working for me. But just navigating our way back into some sort of normal life is throwing people out of whack. So what better episode to have right now than one to remind us to find balance and to strike balance and to take your time maybe getting back into there. Just, you know, don't just jump right in, but test the waters, dip your toes in and kind of wade in there to keep going with this water metaphor. Where are my seagulls? But yeah, let's just uh, be easy on ourselves. Let's go easy on ourselves. Let's give ourselves some self-care and really do this consciously. Get back into this consciously and restore some balance in our lives both socially and with our art practice. So this has just been a friendly reminder, sharing stuff with you all, as I always do, things that are going on in my own life, and I hope it's helpful in some way. So looking forward to talking to you guys next Oh, there's the school bell. I got to get going because apparently the police are after me. Oh, God. (laughs) Anyway, I'm out of here. You're never going to catch me, copper. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Sincerely. This has been the Living Artist Podcast. Thank you so much for listening. I just want you to know that I appreciate you being here, and I'm grateful to be in your ears. Your art and creative life on this planet is meaningful, so thank you for sharing it with me. If you like this podcast, whatever platform you're listening to it on, please subscribe and share it with your friends. You can also leave me a positive review to show your support. This helps me to reach more people with the algorithmic magic and keep the show going strong. If you want to see more of what I do and check out the art that I create, you can visit my website at www.pmsartwork.com or follow me on social media everywhere at PMS Artwork. That's it for now. See you back here next time.